Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Thief has been around for ages, and it's a series that's been on the PC mostly, though I think 3 or something came on the PS2 or some weird shit like that. So why release another, though, years later, when nobody actually really even gives a shit anymore? I don't really have an answer for this. Either way, though, we got a new thief with a familiar face. Garrett is back, and he needs to go into his shadowy mode and basically steal a bunch of shit from people, which sounds pretty cool, actually. Is this stealth first-person somewhat action game worth checking out? We're about to find out. The good. The graphics. I played it on the PS4 and it did not disappoint. The lighting was good, as were most of the animation. Sure, it was kind of limited in terms of how many people are on screen and you see the same person on the screen and you're like, what the heck? But it is kind of a stealth game and all you really care about is seeing these really cool shadowy moments and really good looking environments. That's the point. The idea of also going into people's houses and stealing their shit is pretty cool, especially in moments when you go right behind them, grab their purse or whatever, steal it, and just leave without them even knowing. I mean, I want to do that in real life, so it's pretty cool to see that in a video game. That's kind of where the good ends. The bad begins right here. The controls feel just off right off the bat. It's just unnatural. I never felt like it actually worked well despite getting further into the game. I felt this was like the biggest distraction to the overall feel of the game and it never felt as responsive as they should. Also, the voice acting is pretty bad. Garrett isn't bad per se, but the rest of the cast could have used some serious work or just replaced all of them. Especially coming from something like Tomb Raider, which I believe was by the same team, so what happened here? And it's uneven, to be honest. I don't believe it fit the quote for stealth and freedom. Everything kind of felt Damn pretty linear. A game like Dishonored felt more open world and more to the thief kind of feel, and this just wasn't. And that's a problem for a game like this. And then we even have an ugly thrown onto that. The story. What the hell was this? Is it even worth mentioning? Not really. Beyond silly and boring and not worth anyone's time, to be honest. This was another humongous major fault. And I don't know if the other thieves had a story worth mentioning. But they could have been possibly this fucking boring. It's really sad to see this game not live up to what you should expect from the Thief series. Most of them are highly rated, or at least for fans who like to be super, super stealthy and have the freedom to do a lot of stuff, you get that. Why not make this one more open world, letting you decide how to tackle each situation instead of having the same old people pop up on the same freaking street, making the adventure itself feel not only short and linear, but repetitive. I don't mind a straight, you know, A to B type of game. I actually like those, but it just doesn't work well with Thief. I don't think the fans of the old titles are going to just be disappointed. I think also anyone expecting a quality stealth game is going to be disappointed. This one had way too many problems to actually suggest picking this one up for anybody above maybe 10 bucks. I'm going to give this game a 4.5 and I am just really disappointed and hope they just lay this series to rest and let's not get another one. Let's just create a whole new series because this obviously isn't working well for the Thief series.